I got a uh, delivery today and what it is is an endoscope and if you haven't seen one before it's basically a camera uh, with lights on the end of a very long wire and you can plug it into something and this one goes into like a cell phone it has a cell phone jack there and then they also gave an adapter so it would go into USB for say a computer a laptop something like that it came with a disc with uh, I think three different uh, programs on it uh, to display the picture it comes with a hook and then a magnet probe and then this thing which holds those in place and then the last one is a uh, angled mirror so you can put the angled mirror on here and then you can see sideways because otherwise the the uh, image is straight forward and with this you can see 90 degrees to the uh, to the camera okay so let's uh, do a close-up and uh, see uh, each of these individual components this is the USB adapter so this is more like the uh, cell phone size and then this is the uh, computer standard uh, USB uh, disk which nothing surprising about that this is the magnet probe it's just a magnet inside of a coil of wire and a connector and then there's this tube and it has a notch on the side of it and so it slips on here and then I can do this it slips over this and when you pull on it it uh, locks in place I will say it doesn't lock in place very hard but yeah I mean you could go and uh, send this in to uh, pick up something that was lodged there as long as it's not too heavy it does pull free pretty easily but eh, it's not bad and then there's a hook same idea there there's the hook okay and then uh, dislodge that then this is the 90 degree mirror and if I can get it on there I'll cut it upside down and it screws in place unlike the other one like that so that you can see 90 degrees this came with a when I first tried it it was very uh, I couldn't see through it but it had a little plastic protection on it to protect the mirror and yeah you have to peel that off otherwise you get a really poor image okay so maybe we should go try this and uh, see if it works here I've got the uh, angle tip on here and uh, this is the monitor program going on here here's our demo pipe I'm going to stick it in this pipe and we're going to see what we can see um, I'm twisting it around so yeah we're not, not seeing a lot the focal distance on this is four to eight centimeters I think it is and this pipe is two inches actually it's less than two inches it's like one and three quarters so yeah it, I don't expect to get a very good image out of it so rotate it around and yeah I mean so we're only getting uh, one one angle where it's pointing the right distance to the edge of the pipe where we're uh, where we're getting the uh, correct focus so yeah the other thing I'm noticing is the cable is not very stiff so pushing it in this is a five meter long cable and pushing all five meters in a pipe like this it's not going to happen it doesn't even want to go down this pipe and I think this pipe is three somewhere between three and four meters so yeah okay so let's just try it without the angle tip let's just try it with the straight tip and see what we get so here we are I've got the uh, just the plain old endoscope without the uh, angle reflector on it and you can see it's on by the way I can adjust that over here so I can adjust the brightness brighter darker like that okay so let's stick it back in our pipe over here and see what we get yeah I mean well you can kind of see a little bit what's going on but the resolution is only 640 so
twisting it around so we can see. So there we can kind of see. Again, the we're kind of seeing where the uh, thing is accidentally in focus. It's exactly the right distance away. And you can't control that. There's no focusing on this one. So let's keep going down the pipe. You can see the bottom of the pipe going by. Still going. Now it doesn't really want to keep going because Again, the cable's not really stiff, so pushing it down this pipe is not uh, not what it wants to do. It wants to kink up on me. And what was that? Oh, I saw something go by. And I've hit the end. Let's see if I can rotate it. No, nope, it's too far away to rotate. Ah. I put something at the end of the pipe so you can see. But can't even do that. Thank you, Windows. And the other thing it does is it locks up uh, occasionally. So, yeah, I'm going to have to restart this. Okay. We'll uh, restart it and then we'll go back and uh, I can show you what I was trying to show you earlier. Okay, we got our technical issue out of the way. Thank you, Microsoft Windows. Can you tell what it is? It's kind of hard, huh? It's actually a toy car. This is the wheel. So, yeah, even when I know what it is, it's uh, hard to tell, and it's really hard to control the camera angle on this. So this is the grill of the car. There's the wheel, and there's the wheel, and we can change the lighting. That's too much lighting. Okay. So there it is in actual use. Now I've got it set up for my tablet. There's a reason I don't use it. You would think it would be very convenient, but watch this. Watch how slowly it responds. In fact, I was measuring about three frames a second or so. And I'm surprised if it would even be that. I mean, it's just really, really slow. Um, so, yeah. I've I found that really it's only workable on my laptop. Okay, so that's it for the demo. Well, that's it for our cheap endoscope. Um, I'll be honest, I can't think of a circumstance where the low resolution, the inability to control the, the end, uh, the, the very limited focus range, and the inability to focus it, I can't imagine the situation where you know you would find that useful. So. Can't recommend it, even though it's only a few bucks. It's just, yeah, uh, don't bother. Okay, well, I'm disappointed. I really, really, really wanted this to work because I got some things around the house I would like to check on, some pipes and whatever. But, okay, well, that was it for our cheap endoscope. Hope you found it useful and interesting in your home DIY projects.